dog doing? Hi everyone, it's Vaughn and today I kind of wanted to just chat a little bit about the feelings I've been feeling in case you're feeling these kind of feelings too because I feel like this is just kind of possibly possibly maybe you're like the one person who isn't feeling this a universal experience among college students and I just wanted to chat about that as the year grows to an end the school year and I also have some snacks with me today so I'm gonna be nibbling I have brosine garlic and fine herb cheese these little brioche bread slices I'm not sure where I got them from then my yakult so let's start off our little chat with some probiotic health now I'm very probiotically healthy now I'm ready so let's chat about feeling left behind so for me I am a junior in college and a lot of my friends are seniors so it's obvious I know where this overwhelming feeling of feeling left behind is and it's like I feel like a lot of people are feeling this where it's like your friends are graduating and everything you hear is about the future and you're the only one who can't plan for the future in the same way because of course I can be like oh I can also be looking at jobs and internships but I can't in the same way because this is a permanent thing for me once summer's over I would have to go back to this and then I would finally be able to start looking for for real a job and a career and all of that stuff and dealing with the actual anxieties of graduating but now I'm just getting like early set deja vu like I'm sure next year I'm gonna be remembering this feeling but I just kind of feel like unreasonably left behind because I have no reason to leave like I know a lot of my friends are feeling like they're not ready to leave but I know if I were in that situation like if I were a year ahead I think I would feel ready to leave like I'm really glad that I have an extra year because I feel like with the extra year I will be able to do everything I want to do and feel confident in that moment that I will be graduating. I mean, obviously, I'm going to feel not ready in the moment, but I think I overall feel really confident. But now I'm kind of feeling like ready, but I'm not allowed to be ready. And it's not like I can just graduate early. I'm feeling a little bit of like grief and relief, like grieving the fact that everyone is graduating and that this will be me in a year and I will have to be ready to graduate and I will have to be ready to do all of these crazy things that I'm just dreaming of right now and this sense of relief that I'm not doing that but I'm gonna have to do it alone I'm not gonna be surrounded by the same friends I did because I didn't realize how many of my friends were really seniors like Calder and Karina like Karina gives senior vibes for sure. Calder, I didn't. I thought we were both juniors. Like my friend Kessie, Aubrey, Shayla, Taylor is the only one who isn't graduating with me. So Yoon even. So Yoon is like 24. I didn't know this, but everyone's graduating, and it's like, what am I supposed to do except continue doing what I'm doing? Because what I'm doing right now isn't wrong. It isn't bad. It isn't anything more than what I'm supposed to be doing right now. It's the correct thing to do. Yet I feel like it's the wrong thing. It's, I should be getting ready to graduate. I should be getting ready to do this. Or now I'm having this strange feeling of, I guess it could be imposter syndrome. This is so strange before in my life. I've never really dealt with imposter syndrome. I've always felt adequate at everything I do. Like I'm like, that's fine. I've never felt like I'm not supposed to be here. And this is the first time in my life I'm like, Kind of upset not that i haven't been here that i'm not supposed to be here but at the fact that younger me didn't know how to prepare myself because for me um i don't think i've ever said this before on this channel but in college i actually wanted to go into oceanography i wanted to go into chemistry um and i got scared i didn't even talk about it with my family i mentioned it once and they kind of laughed at me because it was like so unexpected like, of awkward I felt like 
I loved it. I enjoyed doing things and figuring stuff out and the whole part about it. But some part of me felt like I wasn't ready for that or I couldn't do that as a career. So I don't know where I said I'm gonna go into arts because I always was the art kid, but I never really actually drew. Like I never painted, I never did stuff like that. So now this sense of imposter syndrome maybe, I don't know, it's more like a sense of I'm unprepared. I wish I had actually done art. I wish I had wanted, figured out what I wanted when I was a child who didn't know any better. Who was just trying to figure out what thing she was good at. I wish I had been prepared. It's no one's fault, not even younger me's fault because when I think back like, oh my God, I wish I had done this. Like, I don't think I'd change anything younger me did. She was going through it and she was figuring it out and she was doing the best that she could so how could I be upset at me for that, you know? But at the same time, I look at my peers, especially the people who are graduating. Some of my closest friends are seniors. Um, oh, my friend Vanessa, my best friend. She's my age, but she's graduating early so she, everyone early is graduating this year. Um, but a lot of them have sketchbooks from when they were kids from when they were like fourth grade and it was all anime and stuff like that. And I didn't have that. I don't think I have anything like that. Like, I didn't do anything, like I really didn't. And now I have this sense of feeling like, a lot of people say that, I don't wanna brag, like I'm saying this objectively. A lot of people will tell me, wow, you're so good at like, I love your style, like I love this, or like ask me how I did things, like anatomy or rendering and stuff like that, stuff, art stuff. And it, I feel good, like a lot of people want to buy my art, like I sold a lot of my art, I've done a lot of commissions, but it's kind of like this weird feeling of like, where would I be if I had done this years ago? Like, if I had entered college at this level, because now I feel like in my career of an artist, I know how to do the basics, I know how I've had, I was in a fandom. I drew fan art in a fandom. I feel like that's a big thing. I posted my art to the internet. That's a big thing too, my cringy fan art. Um, I've taken an art class now. Um, you know, I've, I feel like I've done all the basics of an art kid, but I'm doing that in college. And I feel like that paired with everyone graduating gives this weird sense of like, I could have been much more happy and much more set in life and in art if I had done this since I was a kid. But I was a, sh I don't know if I was a shy kid. I was an unsure kid. Like I was shy about wanting to do things and going out. My dad used to have this board. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. It was this chalkboard. It was like this big and it would say summer things or like fall things. He would change it for season. And the first thing would say, get friends go out with friends or something like that. Or he would write these things for me or like ask me like, what do you really want to do? And I had no desires as a kid, I guess. I didn't really do anything. Um, and the friends I did have, they were for short periods or it just didn't work out. High school friendships are complicated. I think we all know that. So I just like, how was I supposed to know, you know? I didn't go out and do things and now I'm kind of upset at myself that I didn't, but how can I blame myself that I didn't, you know? And now, at least in my life, I'm like the coolest person I know. I think I'm pretty cool, you know? I'm doing things I that I want to do, like I'm doing things that I feel like I should, line dancing, YouTube, hobbies, I'm buying the food that I like. <laughs> I'm doing the things that are like, I'm hanging out with the friends that I like. I'm not feeling like bad or like unsure if I should even go out that night. Like I do things because I want to now. And it's really good that I got there, but to circle back, I'm going off track. There's a lot of feelings in this feeling that I'm feeling. I was like feeling left behind. Like if I had done things sooner, then maybe I'd be more prepared for how I am, you know? Because I feel like it's so hard lately to be present in the moment and to feel like I am aware of what's happening to me right now. Like aware of what's happening in school. Like I only feel like I'm just like waking up right now. And it's week three, or week four. Oh my God, I'm starting week four this week. We have a 10 week system. 
Um, so we're almost at midterms. I feel like I'm just waking up. I feel like I am only now like snapping out of the days that I was in of just not being present with everything and not being aware of what's happening because I'm so distracted by my friends leaving and everyone doing other things that I could be, that I'm not supposed to do yet or I can't do yet. I can only prep for them, which is good, but I can't actually do anything about them because it's time. You know, I can't graduate. I can't plan my graduation dress. I don't know. That's not really a big deal. So many things that I can't be doing that I can't relate to that I can't be understanding yet, but my friends are and trying to be there for them. It's such a weird feeling, you know? But now that I kind of like talked about this a little bit, I hope that if you're feeling like this, you feel like you can relate because it's a very real feeling. I feel like high schoolers and college students in their junior year are having, maybe even younger, but I feel like, you know, if you're, you're a sophomore, it's only been one year or two years, but you know, when you're junior, it's been like all three years that you've been with this person or these um, people. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of one person in specifically right now. And it's really hard. And I'm just like trying to say, as I'm explaining all of this, that it is really hard and I'm having a hard time, but you know, I'm trying my best to figure it out. And the best you can do is just stay present in what's happening, not be wishing too hard for the things you've planned in the future to come to fruition. Because I accidentally signed up for a sidewalk, a sidewalk shop festival. And I keep thinking about that, and I keep thinking about um, I'm tabling art at two different expos, and I keep thinking about that and how it's gonna approach soon. And I don't need to, because the more I think about that, the less I have of right now in this moment where I'm talking with you about my feelings and about if you're feeling this way, it's okay to feel this way. But the best we can do really is just be there with those people that are gonna leave and be with ourselves in these moments where we're feeling like left behind because it's totally fucking real. <laughs> like, it is so real to feel this. Like, I'm seriously feeling this really hard right now, guys. And there's nothing I can do to change that. The only thing I can really change is my feelings towards it and how I'm going to change myself and how I'm doing things to react to that and I hope that you guys are feeling really like isolated and alone and feeling this left behindness whether it's just a general feeling of like left behind like you're not where you should be in life or it's like very specific to me like yeah I have friends graduating and I'm gonna be graduating and like everything's confusing everything's a mess I don't know what to do then I'm here for you. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's such a mutual feeling and if you're feeling it too, then I'm here too. I'm, we're all in this together. But yeah, that's kind of really all I wanted to say. Like, I kind of just wanted to chat a little bit because it's such like a real feeling. And it's such like a real thing that is happening to people right now like as we're getting to the end of our spring semesters like we are experiencing this where people are leaving people are graduating so yeah and if you're graduating congratulations i will be with you guys next year graduating as well so we're all gonna get there but yeah this has been fun thanks for coming to fun's little talks I like Fawn's Little Talks. Welcome to Fawn's Little Talks. And I will see you in the next one. Um, yeah, hang in there, everyone. Eat some cheese and crackers. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I mean, not really. This is kind of depressing. It's fine. We're being very hopeful about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Hang in there, everyone. Bye.